I'm Lu Iluminada Fernando. Uh, I stay here in Pangatongo, uh, working in Kipal and Soisha. You know, it was really a very, very sad tragedy when last, last September 29, when the strong earthquake hit American Samoa. It was my first time to experience that, that earthquake. Uh, mm. Early in the morning, we are preparing to go to work. The kids are taking shower because they are going to school. When suddenly the earthquakes shake <laughs> this uh, island, and then, you know, we are so very. We didn't know how to express our feeling that moment when the kids are crying, and then we don't know what to do. We just stand up and staring each other. Yes, you know. All the staff are pulling down, and suddenly the, the men staying together with us shout, Okay, you go downstairs because the house might collapse because we are staying up, very up in the. We are the second house, and we are in the second story. You know, when we went out of the house, we didn't go downstairs, we just stare. Oh my God, if you have seen all those boats and the, the water, mm. you know. It's really my first time to experience. And then when we, we, we saw, because we can see clearly huh, what's going yes. on because we are upstairs. You know, we can see all the, those people from downstairs. Yes. You know, they are carrying their bags and, and then <laughs> pulling their kids, going upstairs, shouting, crying, and looking for the other kids. Where are they now? You know, my friend also at home, she was in the working in the boat. He ran from Starkis going to our place. And then you know I can see and I just pray when I saw the the water. Oh my god. The water. There is an I I can see the emptiness of the the ocean, huh? Because really? yeah, it's really empty and then if you can see as if there is a war in the in the ocean because the boats are are Ho uh, they they blow their the uh, what do you call here? yeah yes and then oh then they, we can see the people they are really going upstairs and the house is really really full all those Filipinos from this place they are go they go up and then all their stuff are there the kids oh my goodness I don't know how to express it and then I saw I saw what's going on when the 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 water is going up. Oh. Yeah, it's really clear the water is going up. And then when I saw, I think, I think it was the the water is already here in the shop. We can mm. see really the water is already here. On there. don't this don't allow the water to destroy all our our things because it's really hard because we are. You are working, and if yes. the, we cannot work, so we don't have any money. That's why. And then when when it is already done, and the water is already going back, even though, even though, some other I know some other places places is really destroyed, but Pangatongo no big damages because yes. we need our our shop. We are working. My my our family in the Philippines needs really help from us. So, I, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I know everything will be okay. You sh like show me where the water was at here. Yeah, the water is get in. And like how high? I think not too high because uh, all the stuff down uh, under the table all okay. wet. Yeah, and oh, then okay. our aircon is already destroyed, uh, broke. Okay. The aircon. The aircon. Yeah, the water passed through there. That's why it was moved. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the aircon that was destroyed, yeah. right? by the tsunami.